Okay, so this time uh, I want to show you guys how to make a, I want to show you guys how to make like a nail tech type of flyer, um, which is very similar to like a beauty hair salon type of flyer, except it's going to include nail examples instead. I'm not quite sure what color I want to roll with right now, but for now, I think I want to start with like a soft pinkish white. So I'll fill the background with that color. Um, throw a little gradient overlay on there. Linear. That looks cool for now. So next thing I want to do is I have a picture of some nails here. That I stole from one line to use, for example. And I'm going to blow this up. And what I want to do is I basically want to figure out a way to make all three of these nail photos work on this image. And I want it to, you know, look look pleasing to the eye. So the thing about even with hairstyle uh, flyers, it's just sometimes it's, it's a little more difficult to get more hairstyles on a flyer than it is to get more nail styles. But in the past, when I've done nail flyers, you know, I've had to cram like as many photos and nails in there as possible and I have to like explain to the client like okay we can only have like maybe four or five max so pick your favorite because you need you need room to, to place the information and then if you make these nails too small anyway no one's gonna be able to tell what the style is so I think the less options on the flyer the better Maybe you could have like a website that showcases everything else or like an Instagram or something. But yeah. So one problem I have here is these two pictures are different shapes. So what I would like to do is take my elliptical tool and I'm going to turn them into circles because that's a cool shape to have that you don't usually see. So I'm gonna do that and then what layer is it? Click the layer and just hit the mask button. Now it's a circle. Now I want the same size circle. So I'm just gonna control click on here, the mask where the circle's at. Hit my M key to make sure that I'm only selecting the marquee. And then grab these as well. Let's get like four of them in the picture. There's no, there's really no need to get all of them because you see one hand and you can tell like, oh, okay, that's the style of the nails. So now we got these two extra styles here that we're going to put on here in one way. And then we have this here at the top. I'm going to gradient slide this. There we go. So that it fades a little bit better. My other alternative was to just cut this out, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have to need to do that. And that's honestly pretty cool too, which that's something I would do, but uh, it doesn't really change it that much. But a lot of times when you put like nails in the background, the client might be like, uh, oh, I, I can't see the ones in the background. You know, and then that's an issue. But I think that's cool. Wait, let me. I think color burn is cool. Stylistically, I like this the best. But if my client was to ask me to change it back, then I would I would do it. But since these are so small, like we can make them bigger. Let's zoom in a bit too. Okay, so just to make these a little more interesting, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just commit to this and delete my mask. Now in your Photoshop, if you do that, it might ask you, are you sure you wanna do this? Or it's gonna ask you like, do you wanna delete the mask or do you wanna apply the mask permanently? And, and what I just did was just apply it permanently. So let me put this 
these strokes around here it kind of adds to the uh, design in a, in a way it's like an off blue color let's make it like an off pink actually that blue was nice let's keep it at that and then I'm just gonna copy this layer style and paste it on the here so that we have both of them now being uniform so maybe this is a uh, maybe this is Sheila's nails but let's make the logo a little different than last time let's see how can we remix this nail so uh, we want something kind of clean and elegant font see if it'll work here I think it will kind of hard to read though right I like it in salon So indecisive with fonts. And I don't have enough of them. So now, now that we have this cool handwriting font there, we can use something a little more. I guess plain is the word I'm looking for. Beavis, 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 Beavis. simple to the point and people can't tell if it's salon divas or if it's diva salon and I like that so I, I'm gonna put this huge here Darken it up a little. 
little bit. Oops. Pull this down like that. So it's a fade. Manicures, pedicures, um, facials. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, waxing, threading. Salons do a lot of different things like that these days, right? colors a little bit when there's too much of the same font going on you got to play with the colors colors more and more. I'm gonna merge that so that doesn't get in my way anymore. I think that's dope. Hmm. We need something going on down here. It could be more nails or something, who knows? Side, uh, how I want these. Sort of thinking that maybe I need a third one now just to balance things out a bit.
paste this now. Let's add some, uh, maybe like some bokeh. bokeh. I used to do a lot of this with my designs because it just sort of adds like a, some sort of like extra dimension to it. Like if you, Set it to screen or lighten. You get these cool sparkles. So we'll get rid of the bottom one, but the top ones are dope. Salon Divas book today. Number and then address here. Keep these even, and then always remember, like if if you're doing a design where you know it's gonna be printed you have to account for the bleed on the edges like a nanotech flyer a style that you could possibly do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or comments you can leave those below if you have any requests for tutorials you can leave those below um, if you have any requests for graphic design work you can you can email me I'll leave my email below and again appreciate you guys sitting here and watching hopefully you check out the next one Peace out.